this one? Despot's game. Which is still in early access as well. Oh no, it's out of early access. Oh no, sorry, it's still in early access. It's just newly been released into early access. 14th of October. Uh, this has been developed by Confa Games and published by Tiny Build. Uh, thank you to Robert from Tiny Build Games for the game key, much appreciated. Uh, this is a sort of tactical indie game. Guide puny humans through Despot's game, a roguelike tactics army butler. Equip your team and sacrifice them through procedural dungeons as you fight enemies and other players. Again, it's currently on sale for a little while. Let's load it up and give it a look. Another one written in Unity. Okay, we have. Uh, let's show the tutorials just now. I like HB bars on. Ooh, Twitch integration. Music's okay. King of the Hill. New game. Let's try a new game. Okay, what we're doing? Is, oh, is this a controller type game? I'll soon find out. So we have getting money, fifty percent chance to loot an item back from a dead city. Frugality. Okay, classic. Okay, so this is the items we've got. A wiki and escape back for the menu. <laughs> Away down their pipes. Finally, after many failed attempts, we've managed to summon you, so now there is a chance at least. You are the chosen one, only you can save this doomed world. Well, it gets me every time. In truth, you're just one more puny human about to perish in my dungeon's tunnels. If you make it through to the very end, there's a surprise waiting for you. I doubt you will, but still. Time for you to proceed to the next room and I will proceed to give you remote instructions. Click on the doors to move between rooms. Sounds simple enough. What have we got here? Stations. Quite frantic music, isn't it? Hooray, a fight to prepare for it. Pick a good placement for your puny humans. Select one and right mouse button on a free tile within your placement range. Can I get rid of that? Right. right you're an archer guy, crossbow. Let's move you over there. They're going to spawn there. Okay, what are you? The fight happens automatically when you're ready. Press fight the big button in the bottom right corner in case you manage to miss it. You've just got nothing, have you? We're gonna leave you up there. This this almost looks like um, that Twitch game people have, the, the the Battler. Okay, so you've no control. Time to purchase new humans. Buy one pathetic creature. Spirit mask. Oh, we can get a new human. Got a first aid kit. Spirit mask. Okay, we're going to have to buy a human. Now pick a weapon. Let's go for that. To equip the item, hold the left mouse button and drag it onto a human. Okay, so he's got that now. 
buy more items and a couple of new humans too. There's no reason to hold on to your tokens. Then click the green door. So is this the tokens? 36. And is that how much it costs? There's no other weapons. Right. Excalibur. Whoa. Oh, can I not buy that? Why can't I buy that? Eight. So where's my tokens? <gasps> I don't have any tokens. So what's this food? Okay. Right, there's only one dude. So I think... How did I move them again? You've got there. Plus 80. Can't go that way. You can go up here, I think. Let's try that. <laughs> What's this do? Auto place. Oh, he wants to be back there. Okay. One, well, we didn't lose anybody. What's this? Weight device. All abilities are one point eight one likely to trigger. So it's a mutation. Oh. Here are the mutations your humans already have. As you play, you'll collect more. Remember to visit this page and read what they do. Okay. Presumably we can... Ah, we can boost things, okay. Okay, so are we heading through this door? We didn't get a chance to buy anything. We've got three guys this time. We're sort of happy with the placement. He's probably going to die this time. Can't do anything to heal him, no? Oh, he's going to die this time. Oh, no, he managed to survive. We have got 14. Twenty-five. That's nice, isn't it? Is that on you? And I might buy another peep. Two peeps. Let's just have three peeps. Right, where are we going? Going through here. Can we zoom in? Or? All to apply the whole team. Ah. Okay. But one big boss. He's he's definitely going to die this time. Whoa, what's that? Oh, he's burnt to death. Mm, lost a few. Pavel's away. Strain's away. <gasps> we lost. Uh, we lost a few. It says I got an achievement. Good start. I didn't think so. <laughs> Cherubs, humans meet a group of white-winged babies. They flutter around a fountain singing cute songs. Buy this. 
Chose plus humans granting each an additional 30 mana. Okay. Right, we've only got three guys. Throwers. Cultists. Fixters. We've got 16 points. Why don't we take that? Get quite a few peeps. Let's put that on you. And you, you get the shield. Like that. That's probably how I would have laid it out anyway. Okay, now where we're going through here. That look okay format? Yeah. Right, fight. They're like Daleks. They're a Doctor Who. Okay, we've got nine points. 35 food. Is this for healing or what do we do with it? Get to feed your team. What if one human consumes one unit of food? Okay, I think we better buy some food. That's a lot. Right, which door are we going to try? This one? I want to heal him. Despot was here. Poor Daleks. Oh, he died. Auntie the Wall died. Best tab to zoom. What's this do? Oh, is that, that's the map. Ah, right. Or Daleks. Oh, we're about to lose somebody. Victoria Dodgers down. Time for you to learn class combo. See that that Harbacus bus? No. Yeah. You don't have one like that. Buy it. Okay. Now give the Harbacus an itemless human. We don't have one. There's now a blue dot next to the shooter's class icon. It indicates that you've granted them a class ability level. The number 23 indicates that you have two different humans in the shooter's class and you need three humans with different items to unlock the next ability level. Ability levels only increase when you collect different items of the same class. I want a shield guy. I have a sword guy as well. And I'm going to wait. That. Let's head through here. I've noticed you're not using human placement. Let me explain again. Yeah, I've done that. I don't want to. Place healthy ones and tanks to the front and leave shooters in the back. That's what I've been doing. I was using this instead, because that's how I would have laid it out. More Daleks. There's Doctor Who when you need him. What could do with him being healed. Okay, let's go. This is a dead end. Oh, I think we're going to lose somebody here. Igor is down. He was our shield guy. This is a teleporter room. Hold tab and select another teleporter to move there. Okay. I don't want to yet. I want to buy stuff.
You can blink from one teleporter room to another, just point at your destination and press left mouse button. Okay, I don't want to teleport just now. Right, has he got... He hasn't got a weapon, he could get that shield. Not that he's very good. Charmed ring. Let's get you in the ball. So you're arranged. He looks like an American footballer. What's this upgrade do? Right, we could buy you and you. I think we'll leave it at that. Right, I want to teleport. Not wrong key. Where's the top key? There. How do I teleport? Throw a human here to receive five food. No, I don't need it. There we go. Thought. Bring me five pink. Soft, gentle, defenseless. Stop throwing these t thingies at me, okay. 25 tokens are spit back at you from the pit. More than you th threw there. Okay. Press tab to zoom. When in teleporter room, use... Okay. We haven't found another teleporter room there. Have we been there? No. You can just press the Wazard keys to move about between the rooms. That's quite good. Right, I think we've got our, our, our team. Oh no, we're almost out of food. <laughs> Move around without food for a while, but hungry humans are lousy fighters. Okay. If you run out of food, you can produce some yourself by sending a couple of humans there to the sacrificial pit. Well, I could. I could send you there. Okay, we've got the ring back. Keep that. Blue dialects this time. Oh, I've got a mutation. Right. Shooters have a 30% chance to evade. Fencers slow the opponent's attack by 30%. Fencer. Have we got a fencer? See a fencer. Yeah. Or if there are more points than humans, each human gets no. I think we should do that. Right, which way we're we gonna go? We need food, we're gonna go this way. Oh but that's the sacrificial pit. Oh no, we lost Elsa. And we're, oh, and we lost our fence. Our buttercup is dead. Right, we desperately need food. Do we buy more food? Right, do that. That's plenty of food just now. Right. Hmm. Don't have any tanks as such. 
Lena is down. That's my phone ringing. Right, buy two peeps. Review that. Review that. Do we want any more? Probably not. We could have a fencer. What are you? Since we've got that mutation, let's get a fencer. Never we're getting any uh, heal packs. Upgrade, couldn't we? Shop level 2. Why don't we upgrade it? What was that? Cart full of secrets. <laughs> a Sanusi fridge. Oh, and say there's Sanusi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh no. Which way do we want to go? Yeah, this way. This is the boss. I think we're doomed here. Oh. oh no, Venekka's down. Lika's down, Marina's down. <gasps> okay, we can go down a level though. Stop before you go, tell me how many cars can you see on these images? Uh, I can't see. Let's do this one. Suspend your disbelief, dammit. We can tear down the fourth wall without your help. For now, just pick a normal option. What is this? The image disappears. Three figures emerge from the dark. Their faces are filled with either wisdom or blissful ignorance, depending on your interpretation. Thank you for your answer. I know now that you are all likely human. My name is Darkus. Your kind has wronged my people in the past, but now we may join forces. Just tell me one more thing, Dorothy. How do you define freedom? My name's not Dorothy. <laughs> uh, let's just do that one. So you are androids after all, huh? Even though you've somehow passed the first test of humanity since you're clearly more advanced than us, we'd rather go to escape destruction. Darkus and his team of weirdos disappear. Right, what do we have? Rabbit in a hat. Paddle. Got two of them. Got a sucker gun. Hmm, let's have you and a sucker gun. That's that upgraded to three. Another one. Paddle gun, because I want to see what that does. I also want to see what this hat does. I think we'll do that because we don't have much more food really. Okay, let's head up the way. Okay, fight. What's he doing? <laughs> ah, food. Right, we better buy some food. You're gonna be. Oh, you're almost dead. But yoga pants. Another ray gun. Shaman club. Did we get another peep? We'll give you this. We really need some more upfront fighters. I am going to get another person. 
give him this. You're in front, are you? There. It's like a table. <laughs> it is, it's a periodic table. <laughs> We've got a big thing. Oh no, Marina's down. Uh, we've got a mutation. Healers heal all allies. We don't have a healer. Tutors use performing perforating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. I don't have any healers. That went well. Yeah, I think we could do with another tank. Oh, there's a healer. Hmm. Right, let's get a keep on the go. And the fibrillator. Right. <gasps> oh, lucky we took a healer on. Be nice if he got healed. Humans find an ancient artifact, a computer in the form of a flat rectangle, approximately 8.99 inches large. The tablet only has one app installed. It reads TikTok 2022 archive. <laughs> Humans get st stick in it for one hour, 26 minutes, and the tablet's battery goes dead. It was a good battery. Spend 10 food and receive nothing. No, used up so much food. Why is nobody healing? I'm going to have you and you. I could really do with. That and that. Why can you're a newbie? Yeah. Okay, so good. See how we get on with that. I don't know if they're healing him or not. We desperately need more food. Um, two. He's gonna go soon if he doesn't get healed up. Why are you not healing? Are you? Heal level two. Where's my other healer? I definitely had two healers. There. Okay. Fight. Okay, so he is healing, he's just very slow. Oh, we lost Victoria solid. She's not as solid as she was. Uh, sh they had a gun. Mm. Tuna. Let's, let's throw some tuna at the enemy.
Oh, he got healed. I saw his health go up. Uh, 53 food. Hmm. I think we're okay. Let's go to the boss. Oh no, Nick. Nick is down. Nick has lost his table. Again. Oh no, Luke's down as well. That's one of our. Sh oh, and Vera, the way their tuna is down. Oh no. I think we're done for. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we got defeated. But look, you've unlocked cool new stuff. <laughs> and turn on showing HP on sensors. Yeah, I did that. Well, <laughs> a bit frantic, but quite good fun. Um, right, I shall stop there. It's almost half an hour for that game. Um, that's the last of my first looks for today. Um, in case you want to see what they were. Um, so that, sorry, that was Despot. That was from Tiny Build. Publisher and Confi Games. Um, it's still in early access. It looks it's good for being in early access. Plenty to do. It's on sale just now for a few days. Um, so, let's see. So that's the first looks I've done today. Um, Learning Factory, Journey On, Sylphia and the Sleepless Island, Gladiator, Guild Manager. Sphere Flying Cities and Despots Games. Thank you to all the publishers and developers for the game keys. Very much appreciated. Um, I shall be back on Wednesday morning with more Operencia, um, which we've been playing, but we started. What's that? That one. She'll be back with more of this. It's a dungeon crawler, grid based. Sorry with that, and then back again on Saturday with more point and click puzzles. So, um, until then, you all take care, be safe, and I shall say bye for now.